a game dev secret about lighting. Imagine we're making a cool subway in a 3D game, but we haven't set up lights yet, so everything is dark. Now there are holes in the ceiling that we can shine a light through, but look at what happens if that's all we do. It's way darker in here than we'd expect, right? And that's because in real life, light bounces around. It would come in through the holes in the ceiling, bounce around the room, and light everything up. But simulating all of those light bounces every frame would be extremely expensive. The secret to fixing this? It's called ambient lighting. In your game engine, you can set up lighting in a scene that gets equally applied to everything, no matter what. So instead of needing to actually perform expensive math to calculate how the light bounces around the room and lights everything up evenly, we can just skip the math and tell the game engine directly, light everything up evenly. And now you can see the room looks lit up. But now we have a new problem. When light bounces around a room, it doesn't actually light everything up perfectly evenly. If there's more stuff for the light to bounce off of around a particular spot, then that spot should be darker because the light's more likely to bounce away instead of lighting it up. But there's a secret to fixing that too. It's called Screen Space Ambient Occlusion, or SSAO. That's where the game engine will decrease the amount of ambient light that each point receives based on how much other stuff is nearby. This requires much less calculation, but it looks really nice. 